All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Rayad Rakar from the Cleveland Branch GMS. Coming back at you through the power and the spirit of the Most High and His Son, who this present evil world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. But in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, we would know the Father as Yahweh and the Son as Yahweh Shah. Yahweh meaning He is or He exists. Yahweh Shah meaning He saves or He delivers. He comes to save and deliver the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians on your father blood's line. Because according to the Bible, the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18, you are what you are through your father's lineage. So before I get into this quick lesson, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect Akiyam and a few sisters, the few Akwath that do listen and do learn. And uh, today, man, I'm going to just go in man, through the spirit, man, because it's high time for our people to wake out of sleep, man. America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, will be destroyed, thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible, because the wicked is ruling, man. The wicked is in charge, man. Matter of fact, let me start off with that. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. It says, the earth, the whole entire earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who gave the earth into the hand of the wicked and who is the wicked? Whose earth is it? The earth and everything in it is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. And he give it to whoever he want to give it to for his own cause, for his own purpose. But it's given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. The main judge is who? Yahweh Shah. Because according to John chapter 5 verse 22, Yahweh gave all judgment and all authority to his son, Yahweh Shah. And they covered his face and made him a so-called white man and heathen, according to the Bible, an Edomite. The nation that Yahweh hates. <clears throat> if not... Where and who is he? So if if, if the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, ain't the wicked, ain't the devil the Bible speaks of, then who is and where is he? Back to Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, because you got to know the time, but you line the time up with prophecy, that's, that's how you know you're supposed to measure the time, man, with the word. The word is the ruler. How you measure things with a measuring stick, the word is the measuring stick. And the times that we're living in, it's high time to wake up, man, before it's too late. You don't see this whole uh, pandemic was staged and planned. Problem, solution. Problem, reaction, solution, man. They cause the problem, they see the reaction of the people, and then they come with the solution, man. This is all stage, man. It's all propaganda, slander, and lies. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Is that talking about an actual sleep, or is that talking about spiritually sleep? Wake up, man. It's high time to wake up, man. Open your eyes, man. Open your eyes. Don't get caught up in uh, uh, football games and basketball games and bread and circus. That's to distract you. That's to take your eyes off of the problems that's at hand, man. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. We can be out of here this year, the beginning of the next year, before 2023. If this world was to go on in 2023, 20, 20, 24, everybody would be, had a maxing waters in them, everybody would be in concentration camps, you feel me, everybody would be robots with that microchip in you, man, wake up, man, 
our God is calling our people back. If you were so-called Negro, Latino, Native or Central Indian, come back to your heritage as a Hebrew Israelite, man. Simple as that. Okay, let me see. Uh, Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies, spiritually dead, shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Watch this place spiritually called Sodom. What was going on in Sodom? Homosexuality. What did Obama do in 2015? Pass laws for men to marry men, women to marry women. You got idolatry. You got bestiality. You can marry trees. You can do what you want here. And how is this spiritually Egypt? What was going on to our people in Egypt? They were slaves. They were in captivity. Look on the back of your dollar, man. Egypt, man. Pyramids. How do we get here? Via slave ships, man. Where also our Lord was crucified. How was he crucified? With that picture of of a uh, of a uh, Caesar Borgia, man. Fucking devils, man. Wake up, man. But what's that? Proverbs twenty one and sixteen. It says, the man that wandereth out of the well understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You people are in the congregation of the dead, man. All people care about is money, sex, getting high, popping somebody else's woman, doing all sorts of wickedness while it's things going on in the world. Fires everywhere, floods everywhere, earthquakes everywhere. Everywhere, uproars of the people everywhere, mandates being passed about you that you don't even know about, man. Wake up, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep, man. High time. I'm going to get this, man. Then I'm out of here. I got to get to work. I know I make a lot of short videos, but that's because our people, man, got a, got a short Attention span. You got to hit the points and get up out of there. Uh, what's that? 28 and 6. 68. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Okay, we already know uh, such things as spiritual Egypt. Hmm. They call America spiritual Egypt. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. That Egypt represents slavery or uh, or or uh, uh, double straits, a uh, place of difficulty with ships. So we'll be brought into slavery with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just how he said it was going to happen, it happened. And we in America, how do we get here? Ships. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we still ain't seen our homeland. We still ain't went back to Jerusalem. We ain't even been back to West Africa where they took us from. And there, when you get off them slave ships, ye shall be sold. Didn't we get sold? Did we get sold to our friends? You shall be sold unto your enemies. What did we get sold to our enemies for? To, to, uh, to, Get jobs and do good for bond man, slave man, and bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. That's old English, man. When you go into that word, buy you, it means no man will redeem you. Marcus Garvey couldn't. Uh, uh, Malcolm X couldn't. That I had a dream. Martin Luther King couldn't. Nobody can except for Yahweh Shah. Because it's his blood that redeemed us, man. It's him, man. We're here for a purpose. We're here for a reason. We at the end, wake up and come back. Shalom.